So it seems like there is another player in the humanoid robot space. This is the latest demo video from Magic Lab Robotics. So what we can see here is rather fascinating because we have an actual swarm of humanoid robots that are working together collaboratively to achieve a desired goal, which is truly remarkable considering this company hasn't really shown us that much. But what they have shown us in the very few demos that they have showcased on YouTube shows us that this company is not messing about. Now, I don't know much about this company because they haven't chosen to release that much. Other than the fact that they are a Chinese humanoid robotics startup, they are showing some really impressive demos for seemingly being a company that has only existed a year long. And in this demo that you guys can see right here, one of the main things that I think is really impressive is the fact that these robots are working together in unison to achieve a shared goal. And when we actually take a look at what this means for the future, having robots that are able to have this kind of coordination together means that we can string together large actions and large plans for a huge, more efficient factory or whatever our use case may be. You can see enhancing quality inspections with efficiency precision. It seems like these robots are working in some kind of industrial factory setting where they're doing manual slash repetitive tasks that require these robots to move and place different things. Now this demo showcases a lot of different things, like how these robots are able to use their hands in a variety of different scenarios. They don't look too crazy, but they work well enough so that they can pick up things such as this scanner right here, and they can use that to scan packages and verify these barcodes, which is very impressive considering that when we also look at the walking capabilities, we can see that the walking actually looks relatively fluent compared to other AI humanoid systems. Now, when we actually do take a look at these robots in unison, I think it really gives us a real glimpse into the future of what these factories are going to look like. We've seen many different demos of humanoid robots doing things, and it was only the other day that we managed to see figure two actually working on certain tasks. But this one seems a little bit different as if these robots are fully working completely autonomously together to achieve a certain goal. And these robots are able to do a variety of different tasks, which is, like I said, rather surprising considering the fact that this is one of a few demos that this company has shown. Now, if that robot isn't at two times speed and that is how fast it walks, I do think that this is quite surprising considering the fact that we haven't seen many robots that are able to walk that effectively. We can see just there that it does have a walk that it has when it's holding an object versus when it's actually walking on its own. So it seems like there's two different modes for it to be able to move certain objects around, which is a very interesting way to have the humanoid robot perform certain tasks and actions. Now, this company is one that might be shrouded with some level of secrecy because they don't even have a website to which you can find more information. The only thing that they do have is a few videos on their YouTube showing certain areas of progress that allow us to gain a little bit deeper of insights with as to what is going on at their company. And if this recent demo is anything to look at, this shows us that they're definitely focusing on just producing good robots. Now, I think one of the things that this company aims to do is, of course, have these humanoid robots and have them be able to do a variety of household tasks. Although we can see the robots in the factories here walking around at relatively fast speeds, what we also saw a few years ago, not a few years ago, rather one year ago, was that this robot was doing some, I guess you could say, household chores or household tasks. And in this demo that we got to see here, we were able to see exactly how the robot performs these functions. Now, I do think that this demo here was probably largely teleoperated. Usually in a video like this, if a robot is not teleoperated, for example, if it's completely autonomous, usually the company doesn't hesitate to brag about this claim as doing tasks such as this that are completely autonomous are quite the feat for any robotics company. So this is something that I think when it was released one year ago was largely a demonstration of the robotics platform showcasing how well essentially the robots can function in a variety of household tasks and chores which of course in the future these robots are going to be able to do and of course this was an earlier video which you can see by the hands and essentially the head 
being the only things that are rather effective in this platform. So this is something that is really interesting. Now, one of the also demos that we managed to see earlier as well was of course the robot barista. We actually got to see potentially an iteration at their upper humanoid that could make essentially coffee. Now, this was something that I found to be really interesting. Once again, they didn't state whether or not this was teleoperated or fully autonomous. So we really don't know what we're working with. But at the same time, it was an impressive demo to show us what the future of humanoid robotics does look like. And when we actually take a look at China's wider stance on humanoid robotics, we know that they are pouring billions and millions of dollars into this industry so that they can become the leaders in terms of mass production of humanoid robots that are very, very effective. So this was something that I wouldn't be surprised to see coming to cities near you in the near time future. And actually take a look at what we're seeing here. I do think that it is quite likely to come to humanoid factories first in the sense that we're likely to see a lot of these robots in the background performing many tasks, just ensuring that these robots are remarkably effective at what they're able to do. So before they are in cities doing chores and normal things, I do expect these to be in many factories. As some of you may know, Figure 2 and other companies like the UbiTech robots, those robots are already deployed in factories and are doing work and are quite likely to get consistently better as they collect more and more data on those repetitive tasks so that they can become more efficient and essentially overall more responsive to their environment. This is something that I think is going to be a norm perhaps in 2035 when we are able to scale these to millions or even billions of humanoid robots, a complete transformation of the economy. And with many companies out there, some in China, some in the USA, all over the world competing for the top spot as the world's largest humanoid robot provider, it wouldn't be a surprise to see these robots rapidly advance in terms of their capabilities and of course in terms of their autonomy. So this is a company that I think needs to show us more demos because what they have shown us already is remarkably, remarkably impressive. We've seen the walking speed to be something that is quite fast than many of the robots I've seen. The, you know, movement as well, the gate also looks relatively human-like. And of course, the entire system seems to be rather autonomous in the sense that it's performing certain repetitive tasks within a factory. Although I can't verify those claims, that does seem to be the case here. And it does seem to be rather interesting. So with that being said, what do you guys think about these humanoid robots? Do you think that this is the future of factories? I think this is something that is remarkably intriguing considering how factories have cha changed over the last 40 years. It's going to be really interesting to see if we have fully automated factories with a few humanoids, maybe even just one person at the controller and a bunch of different robots that maybe even aren't just humanoid robots, but are just robots that are performing many different tasks like Amazon's warehouse. So I do think you guys should definitely, you know, I would say to check out this company, but they just don't have that much information there. So I'm really intrigued to see how this company managed to progress in year two or even year three, because this level of progress is remarkable and I applaud their commitment to their mission. So with that being said, let me know what you guys think about this robot and if you're going to be receptive to having one of these in your house.